Hello everyone! Welcome to Curio City! I'm Curio, and this is the place where we enjoy games and learn marginally relevant trivia to impress our friends. Welcome to part two of our Penumbra Overture playthrough. It's very snowy here. Did I just, like, wander? If I click and hold the interact button, I should about manage to pick up that rock. A rock. So I'm going to carry this rock with me. I don't know how I'm going to throw things besides kind of flailing. If I use interact mode. I've jotted down a note just in case. Oh, I see. It lets me kind of. What am I throwing the rock at? Oh. Well, that wasn't very good. Pick it up. And throw. There we go. I hope to God it's not frozen inside as well. So weak. But if I just use interact mode, I should be able to turn that wheel a bit easier. This is the most tutorialized death I have ever experienced. Alright, I'm in interact mode, guys. Oh my. Okay. Maybe I'm not. I'm so confused. I don't understand. If I die right now, it's gonna be embarrassing. Guys, the wheel is stuck. Oh, am I finished? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't deserve to live. Very whispery wind here. My head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Oh, wow. I'm glad they put a grating there. Can I look at it? A heavy looking wooden barrel could be anything inside it. I want to take the lid off. Okay, I guess that's not gonna happen. What's this stuff? This looks like ammunition. Empty boxes of ammunition. Bummer. Seems like some kind of bunker. Uh, these look like they should get moved. Let's prop them over. Never mind. Uh, what's that? A steel rod. I don't want to go in there. Yeah, thanks. Basic wooden door. Oh, there's always a flare. Always a flare. Oh, I see another flare back there. Can I grab it? There we go. Cool. What's that door? What's this door do? I don't know if I want it to be open. It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Jot it down a note just in case. This guy is so studious. Well, we'll go in the other door. It'll be okay. If my sources and math are correct, which I think they are, the Moponang mine in South Africa goes deeper than the lowest point of the ocean. Food, but no good. A hammer. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a backswing by pulling the mouse right, and then follow through by pushing left. Pulling back, then thrusting forward. What? If I hold left mouse, I can swing and then swing, or swing then swing, the other way, or thrusting forward. Do I have to have it like selected though? What's that? Oh, it's just a can. 
grab that. That's another ration can. More empty ammo. More barrels. That looks like a yeah, so sneaky. But I want to figure out this hammer first before I get stuck being attacked by something. So do I go to inventory? Then I double click the hammer. Oh, I see. Now I have a hammer in my hand. So now it says to go like this. Or I can thrust. Oh my gosh, guys. This is not okay. This is way too skill based. Break the bookshelf with the hammer. Yeah, no, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. A metal shelf. Yeah. I'm gonna put the... How do I put the hammer away? Okay. So this is... Oh, okay. I'm gonna push it over there, kinda. So now I need to bust them with the hammer. Does this thing... So that thing is, oh my gosh, okay. So this is a tool to accomplish something. This, on the other hand, is a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Is this working? Okay. Hey, whoa. Why did everything get so funny? That's a little creepy. Well, that goes that way. And this goes up. Oh my gosh. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. I need to go back to where I was before I get lost. I will try to do this in an orderly fashion. So I came through there. No, I didn't. I came through here. All right. So this one goes the way that the game acted like I should go. Did that just bring me back here again? Okay. I don't like that, um, crouchy thing. <clears throat> There's a hole in the center. I have a thing that could fit in a hole. Uh, this is the puzzle game thing. Just smash everything onto everything. Oh, it was right? <gasps> wow. Oh, that opens the... I vote not open that right now. There's a door. Can I... No wonder I couldn't open the door. Yeah, I just wanna... Okay, push. So this is the door back to where we were. Yay! Let's just stay here. Yeah, I'm not opening that yet. I'm, I can't go back up there, but I'll go around. Back to freaky crouch mode. So I went that way before, which put me right here. I'll go this way. Um. That's the way I came. Oh, so it's just a circle? There's not even all those um, routes like I thought there was. Well, then I have no choice but to do this. That's, that's awesome. Okay. Can I save? Is there no saving? 
How do you save? Gonna be checking into that. Believe me. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there as if something... All there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Is this game hinting at me how I should be scared? I don't need your help. Narrator. We are gonna be plenty scared. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing that anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, was too scared or too far away. Or too far away. Um. <laughs> okay. So I can't go back through there. That's probably not recommended. What did I write in my notebook? There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. <sighs> I'm not taking any chances if I face off against anything. I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses. Great. Great, great, great. Ah, okay. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Yeah, that's definitely there. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better to remember to shut off any light sources, though. Okay. I wanted to read what I wrote in my notebook. The entrance is caved in. There must be another way out. My best bet is to hide for a couple seconds or so. Perfectly still. That'll make me properly hidden. I need to stop. Okay. Like that, I'll be virtually invisible, and after some time, I should get my night vision back, provided I stay still. What's your night vision? Where did it go in the first place? I'm not okay with this. I'm just gonna stay here forever. Right? Um, here. This is what I would do if I was this man. Yeah, that's a wooden box. Your location. So I came in the exit. There's a storage office. There's a line, but it looks like there's a doorway. Workshop explosives, northern area. I think I'm gonna go towards the office first. That sounds friendly. I'm just gonna go like this the rest of the game, okay guys? There's a lantern here. This place must be old if they were still using paraffin lamps. Paraffin lamps. <laughs> I know how to dock. Looks like there's still some juice left. Does that mean I can have it? No? Okay. Oh, deep breath. Okay, all right. Going into the office. The name Philip means friend, beloved, or more specifically, friend of horses. Can't wait for him to find some underground ponies to pet. Oh my gosh, the sound of the door closing scared me. Oh, hey look! Um, there's the exit! Can I just spend the next five hours figuring out how to get out of that hole? No way it's coming loose. 
Don't have such a can't do attitude, man. Is this money? No, it's papers. So much history tied up in words left to decompose. Oh, so the important things are gonna flash like a uh, really over the top something. It's a picture of a British platoon. Must date back to World War II. This mine was converted into some kind of bunker. I said it was a bunker. What's this? It looks nice. It has lots of light coming out of it. Oh! My goodness. A man. An old man. Clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Ooh. Never seen before. Still I know this man before me is Howard. I call him father. Ah, oh, it's a father lamp. It's like the... Uh, never mind. It's a father lamp. Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. It's an old artifact. What happens if I click it again? I may never get used to that. So that time I clicked on it and it made my vision go blurry and then there was scary voices speaking in my head. So I think I will agree that I'm not going to do that again. Opening the drawers. This is like, oh, there is something. This is such more laborious looting than Fallout. Oof, oof. I feel like you could actually get a workout doing this. But it's kind of fun, too. Oh, so much stuff. A key. Copenhagen Post. Oh, like it's a newspaper. Monday 17th, August 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of death mine. Oh, what a surprise. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sewn into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. This sounds a lot like Until Dawn so far. At least the mine part. Hope that stuff isn't down there, not to spoil anything. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Lead Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to the national average of 29, so almost double. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH 4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be pleasant present in the rocks. Few locals were conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits, known as Turn gate. Turn. I don't know if those are U's or V's. I think they're U's. So it'd be like turn gate. I swear I'm not trying to make fun of Inuits. Live in the mountains. The university is awaiting the results of chemical testing. Studies continue. This is a familiar setup and one that I'm not particularly happy about. Okay, we've got that in our diary now. Shut the drawer. Open the drawer. Shut the drawer. Open the drawer. Shut the drawer. All right. Officer's log. 1945. So 15 years after that article. Command bunker. Emergency sh airstrip Zulu. So that is a U. A uh, weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I've ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall. And one wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. Guess what I need to go get? The demolitions manual. And I'm sure that's where they learnt the ingredients. Oh, no, no, now it's in here, in the office. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. 
Does that mean I need to find their body? Okay. Oh, needless to say, both men have been disciplined and the injured man sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been made for him to stay out here. Would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected sometimes, I feel as if this work had ended and we might not even hear about it out here. Supplies requisition order, dynamite for excavation purposes, seven bayonets. Not necessary, but procedure states we should have a full complement. An industrial ice pick for moving the damn ice that forms on the external hatch. And one pair of reading glasses, category 7C, in order for myself. My glasses are in rather poor state of disrepair and could do with replacing. Do those glasses happen to see uh, enemies through walls? Because I'd take those. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage and excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Yay! Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. Oh, it's the lamp, I think. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of light which constantly emanates from it. So, okay. Backstrin. What's Backstrin? A bottle of Backstrin might come in handy. I don't know what Backstrin is. I need to look that up. So, I can't even drag any part of it without being assaulted by the lamp. So, we'll stop doing that. There's the chest. Hi, brother! Further than the war, made in Germany, 1923. Go chair. Okay. Woo. Ah, what's this? Dried meat. Beef jerky. What is the purpose of eating in this game? Not without aroma. So it's probably to, like, distract something. I don't seem to need to eat shelves I don't seem to have an opinion about these shelves I don't see anything behind them oh my gosh open am I gonna do this for every single drawer in the entire game open oh oh more meat more jerky just when you're about to give up they have one with something good in it and some medication. Yeah, Tylenol. Need some of that. So I need that for when I'm injured. <laughs> Good deal. The whole room is putrefying because of the grate. Interesting. There's a flare down there. I don't know. Does it have a suggestion for how to use these? Light source. I need the key. I forgot. I'm guessing. It'd be awfully nice if this key was the right one. Oh! Yeah! So far the puzzles haven't been too hard. But I better not say that. Here's the explosives book, 1923 edition. I'm not going to read every word of this because it's massive. But basically, we have... Black match fuse. Oldest, simplest, and reliable fuses in modern pyrotechnics. You just make it with string, black gunpowder, and backstrin. Hey, I've got some backstrin. The chemicals will stain clothing. I wonder if that matters. The string is coated in backstrin. Then roll in the gunpowder. Dynamite is a thing that explodes. It says old boxes of explosives will detonate on contact. That implies that I'm gonna need that at some point. You need a part one part diatomaceous earth, three parts nitroglycerin, and a small amount of sodium. Carbonite. Do something with them and then make them into sticks. Trinitrotoval. 
Trinitrotolvine. TNT. No wonder they call it that. They don't have a recipe for that one. Armstrong's mixture. More of a point of interest than as a viable chemical mix. It's a legend. It's called death mix. And it's very volatile. Red phosphorus and barium. Slowly, slowly mix them. You can use sulfur in addition to barium. I am not sure how I'm going to have to use that. But I'm guessing it's going to be a little concerning. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. I can't take any more of this. Oh, I may need to... Uh oh. There's scarier music now. Does it have balls in it? It has balls in it! Oh, I'm so excited. Let's take the balls out. Who let the balls out? I think they're rocks. Who let the rocks out? Ooh, ooh. Philip let the rocks out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like, maybe a comment. And definitely, if you want to be notified when the next Penumbra video comes out or when my next Sims video comes out, tap my logo on the screen to subscribe. I can tell you that part three of this series, stuff's really gonna start hitting the fan, going downhill. It's kind of, we ha I had a great time filming it and you're definitely gonna wanna see it. Thank you guys so much and I will see you all next time.